go ahead and get started. Uh, first of all, my name is Matt Smith. Uh, I'm a managing vice president with Symmetry Financial Group, one of the advisory board members. And we want to welcome you to not only Symmetry Financial Group, but specifically our, um, our agency, the Smith Agency. And just to give you a, a high level overview on our team specifically, we're going to, I'm going to go over what we're going to cover in this webinar, but you're going to be a part of um, one of the agencies that you're looking at on the screen, Smith Agency, Offered Agency, the Marlon Faulkner Agency, the Brock Agency, Page Agency, the Rudick Agency, the Holub Agency, Colburn Agency, the Munello Agency, and we've got a lot of managers that are, that are, um, that are getting started as well, and so we're, we're adding them pretty often here. So, but all of these agencies are, are part of the, um, the Smith Master Agency. So we want to welcome you to the team. We're excited to have you. And on this webinar, we're going to do, it's going to be a, basically an orientation on expectations, what you should expect, what we expect uh, from you as far as action steps and what to complete, what, what are the next steps going to be. Um, so what we're going to ask is, you know, we get two different types of people. We get some people that they come in here and everyone wants to start making money as fast as possible. They want to, you know, what are, what are the basic things that I need in order to get started? And a lot of people have the mentality that I'm going to go through all the material because I want to learn from your mistakes. And there's other people that say, well, I don't have time to go through all this information. So I'm going to learn from my mistakes. And I can promise you guys that the fastest road to success and, and the most inexpensive road to success is going to be to learn from our mistakes. And so we have built uh, an onboarding platform that is going to cut down your learning curve. It's going to give you the, the nuts and bolts on what is going to be important. We're not going to bog you down with a bunch of stuff that's not important. Um, so if you're the type of person that wants to get, get things going as fast as possible, I would encourage you not to be the person that stops this webinar five minutes in because you don't have time to listen to it. Um, most people that we find like that are the ones that are not going to find success here. So uh, we understand that people are, are excited, we're excited, and we want to help you guys make money as soon as possible. And the way to do that is going to be to not only get through this webinar, but really dig into the material that we're going to go over um, and, and give you the tools that uh, you can learn from the best of the best in the, in the industry, in the company, in our team, on how to be successful right out of the gate. So first of all, I want to make sure everyone is aware of uh, the information. Is the information worth worth going over? Is it worth memorizing? Is it worth getting good at? Am I going to get the results if I follow the system? So you know, right now, this is a recorded webinar. So I don't know when you're going to be watching this. You may be watching it soon after we record it. You may be watching it a month or two or more than that down the road. Um, but I'm going to go to Symmetry's website. We're going to look at the leaderboards and look at the people that have gone through this system and the success that they're having. So, you know, Symmetry has somewhere around 2,500 agents right now. And out of 2,500 agents, if you look at the leaderboards, you know, we're looking at the fourth week of March here. We just had a record breaking month in March. Um, you know, as a Smith Master Agency, we finished out the month at about 1.2 million in premium. Um, and that's a record for us. But a lot of it, it's really the result of the, the agents that we have and the success that they're having. So if you know, if you look at the, the top five agents in the company for this week, three out of the top five are in our agency. Number one, Jack Gerald, Elizabeth Woods, number four, Mike Colburn's number five. If you look at top base shops for the week, Nate Offer, He's number one in the entire company right now. If you look at the master agencies, you know, Brad Smith, that's our master agency. We're number three. We'll never get to number one because Edward Pritchett, we're in his master agency as well. So we're, we're really making a push to, to uh, come up on Marshall Whalen's tail. Top three director, direct agencies, we're number one in the entire company for the agencies that are direct to Symmetry Financial Group. Uh, top 10 producers for the month. You got Nate Offer, Jack Gerald, Mike Lidecker, Josh Mack, and then Mike Colburn. So you look at the majority of the top 10 producers in the entire company are in our agency, and it's all because of 
the training system that we put together that you're going to you're going to have an opportunity to go through. So, like I said, if you want to have similar success, you want to be some of the top agents in the entire company. Don't take it lightly and shut off the videos or the audios halfway through them because you don't have time to go through it. I can promise you that if you want to become a top agent, this is going to be your fastest route to get there. So I'm going to go through what you should be doing right out of the gate. You know, you're going to, when you go to agenttrain.info, you're going to click on the getting started at the top. Okay. So you're going to see a couple, you know, a few tabs up here. One of them is getting started. Click on that and you're going to click on your, the picture of your manager. So every manager has slightly different getting started steps. They might have different conference call information or different apps that we use to communicate with the team. So you're going to follow those steps. I'm going to just go through uh, ours just so you can kind of get an idea on what to look for. But like I said, everyone's a little bit different. But if you click on um, you know, our picture, you're going to see the conference call schedule. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to, you're going to want to go through all this stuff. But just put this information in your calendar. Okay, put the conference call schedule in your calendar. Make a point to be on the conference call. You're going to hear from the top people in the entire company when you get on these conference calls. You know, we use an app called GroupMe that you're going to want to download and uh, request from the person that's getting you started to be it to join our group. And this group is specifically for posting numbers and announcements. It's not a chat group like Facebook where you can post, hey, congratulations or you know, motivational posts. You don't want to do that because we've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people already a part of this group. And you don't want to be that annoying guy that's uh, texting 700, 800, 1,000 people um, a question or things like that. This is specifically for posting your numbers day to day, week to week. Um, and you can like it. If you see somebody you like, you can like it with a heart symbol. Um, but anyway, you want to download that and, and become part of the group. And then you're, you're going to come down to licensed or unlicensed. So if you're, I'm going to go, I'm going to start with unlicensed. And I know some of the people on the webinar today are licensed. But if you ever plan on building an agency, then you're going to want to know what those steps are for unlicensed. So make sure you pay attention to this so you can direct people on where they need to go to get licensed. Okay, so you've got four steps to getting started. Uh, step number one is going to be signing up for your license course. We use a couple different licensing courses, so um, you know whether it's Excel testing or license coach. Um, we've got discounts that you that we get for um, you know if you sign up with one of our coupon codes. So if you select the name of your manager, so if you're in let's say Marlon Faulkner's group, you got a promo code to get a hundred dollars off your course. So you can follow those steps to um, you know, click here to, to start that course. So you're going to want to do that right away. It shouldn't take you more than, you know, some people do it in a couple of days. Some people do it in a week. I would not recommend taking longer than two weeks to get through it. It should never take you more than two weeks to get through that course. Um, and I actually recommend signing up for your, your uh, test um, right away when you're starting this course and that gives you kind of a, a deadline to get through it. The second step is once you sign up for Excel or license coach, you want to fill out this unlicensed enrollment form. You're going to get an enrollment certificate from Excel and you're going to upload that here. And what that will do is that will request a username and password to Symmetry's corporate website once you do that. Okay, so you want to fill that out. Step three, you can click on your specific state to get your to uh, the steps on obtaining your license. So once you've gone through Excel and you've completed your course, each state has their own unique process to get licensed. So you're, you might have to do some fingerprinting or, um, you know, what, where do I go to actually take my test? What page do I go to to actually apply for my license? That's going to walk you through those steps. And the fourth step is actually filling out your symmetry paperwork. And that actually brings us back to the licensed page. So when you, when you click on that, I'm just going to go back to this page as if you were licensed and you get to click on licensed.
Okay, there are four steps on the licensed getting started page. The first one is register on agent trained info. Now, if you already did this on the unlicensed getting started page, then you can skip step number one. If you have not, then you need to fill fill this section out. Um, <clears throat> it'll ask you if you're licensed or not licensed, or if you've applied for a license, that's fine. You can click yes. Uh, if you already had a, a username and you click yes, then it's going to tell you you can skip this step. Uh, you also need to fill out symmetry paperwork, complete your fast track training, and then move on to the steps to success. Now on your contracting paperwork, let me just highlight some of the, uh, the important points here. You're going to select your manager and based on who your manager is, you need to follow those steps for getting your contracting completed. This is going to notify your recruiter or your manager's assistant to send you the link to do that. So you can't actually do that on this website, but they will send you a link that you can fill out um, to do the paperwork online. There's a few things that you will need to do before you can start that. And you will receive an email once you fill this form out, letting you know what those items are. Actually, they'll, they'll actually display on the page once you hit submit. It'll give you that list of requirements uh, Anti-money laundering certificate is one of them. That'll take you about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, you'll need uh, to get direct deposit set up with the carriers. You will need either a voided check with not a starter check, a voided check that's a, an actual check that's got a number, a check number of over 100. Otherwise, they will reject that. Um, or you can use a bank uh, letter from the uh, letter on bank letterhead from your bank, just letting them know this, you are the owner of your bank account and here's the routing and account number of your account. Um, they do not accept deposit or, uh, uh, deposit slips or starter checks. So just keep a note on that. If you send that in, you're going to waste time because they won't accept it. So once you get your contracting done and actually you can start the fast track before you get your contracting uh, officially completed, we, we definitely want to get that started. Um, but if you send that in and maybe you don't get the link right away, you can go ahead and start the fast track until you get that link. Once you get the link to fill out co contract, just make sure you do that. Um, that's pretty high priority. So, um, but once you uh, are done with that, you can start your fast track training. If you know, if you click here, <coughs> click here, it's going to take you to a, a course it does require you to be logged in. So that is what you had created on step number one. So you should have a, a username and password from completing either uh, what you did on the unlicensed or on this section, step number one. So you wanna make sure you're logged in. I'm gonna go ahead and log in here. And this is the fast track training. So you're gonna click on take this course. These are all items that you're going to need to have ready before starting this course. So if you click on these, here's the mortgage protection in-home script. Here's the promotion guidelines, critical period script. So all these items, make sure you click on them, save them, print them, whatever you need to do, because you will need to reference those in your fast track course. So you're just going to go one by one. These are just video lessons. At the end of each video is a quiz. Um, so you'll need to watch the video all the way to the end before the quiz shows up and then take your quiz as long as you get an 80% pass then it'll unlock lesson two and you once you're done with all those then you can go back to your um, this page we were on the getting started for licensed agents and once you complete fast track there will it will unlock the steps to success. Um, so there'll actually be a menu option. It'll show up right up here for steps to success, or you can scroll down here and, um, and start your course. So if you click on that, okay, so this is the five steps to success. Depending on your manager, there may be a 10 steps to success. We just revamped um, this part of the training course, um, the material is virtually the same material with a few maybe additions or subtractions, but virtually the same exact material, just broken down into five steps 
that are, I think it, the categories make a little more sense than the 10 steps. But in a lot of times in the audios and in some of the other training material, you might hear 10 steps to success being referenced and just understand that that's same thing as five steps to success. So it's going to be the identical same thing. So um, now once you start getting started, you're obviously going to start with step number one and you're going to get login information, how to get your logins to the various websites that we have, sfglife.com. Uh, we have up here, you'll notice virtual mentor. That's going to be talked about in the five steps. It's another third, uh, another site that we have that's a very valuable tool you're going to use on a weekly basis. Um, you know, how to get this and how to get that, how to get contracted with Curious. So it's going to answer a lot of the questions that a lot of people probably already have. Once you take that quiz, it'll, you, you got to obviously go through step number one and take the quiz before it's going to unlock step number two. Um, but once you do it, it all builds on itself. This is going to be a very valuable tool for, for you to get started with. You know, a lot, we get a lot of the questions like, how do I know how many leads to buy? Well, how much money do you want to make? We've got the ability, one of the unique things that we have within Symmetry is the ability to, it's a numbers game. So we have the ability to determine how much we want to make based on the resources, the activity that we put into it. Um, but a lot of people just want to know, well, what do I need to do? If I want to make $5,000 a month or if I want to make $10,000 a month or $20,000 a month, we've got people, we've got a, a lady right now, just she's in her third week in the business and she's on track to, to make over $40,000 in commissions in her first four weeks in the business. So that's possible but you've got to have your expectations right on how many resources you're going to need, how many phone calls are you going to need to make, how many appointments will you need to set, and how many points do you need to sit on, how many apps do you need to take. So understand that th this is a combination to your safe that we put together. You know, you determine what is in your safe. So is, is there 10000 a month in that safe? We can let you know what the combination is to get inside of it if we know how much is in there. So <clears throat> you can determine that. So you can put here, depending on your contract level, now obviously everyone starts off at a 60% contract, but as you go up in contract, you can come back and reference this tool to know, okay, at my new contract level, what do I need to do now? So if you're at a, let's say a, an 80% contract level, okay, and your desired income is $10,000 a month, and you want to have, do you want B leads? Or do you want a combination of A leads and B leads? If you don't know what that is, um, you can talk to your, your mentor. But in short, A leads are the brand new leads, $26 leads. That is not going to be available to a brand new agent until they write at least three applications on bonus leads, the B leads. Um, a bonus lead is a lead that an agent has had before. You know, if it's a 5A lead, the, uh, one other agent has had it. If it's a 4A lead, Two other agents have had it, but it's only $4 instead of $5, and it keeps going down $3, $2, $1. So understand that this is all built based on averages. I don't know if you're going to be above average, if you're going to be average, if you're going to be below average, but one thing we do say is that what you lack in skill, you can, you, you can make up for an activity. So just because you may start off maybe without the same skills as someone else that comes into the business, the same sales skills, the same people skills, the same phone skills, all those things can be improved on. But in the beginning, you may not be at the same level as someone else. And so what you have to do is you make up for that with the activity that you put in. Um, so just understand this. These are averages. You may be above average. You may be below average. You may be right in line with these numbers. So if you're, if your goal is 10000 a month of income, of take-home income, not just revenue, but take-home income, you're going to need about 74 bonus leads every single week, not 74 bonus leads one time and then milk it for everything you possibly can for the next four weeks. If you want your income to be 10000 a month, you've got to have realistic expectations. And we always say that disappointment only comes from unset or unmet expectations. So you have to have the right expectations if you don't want to be disappointed coming into this. So if you have a combination, it'll tell you, okay, you need 11 A leads and 22 bonus leads. If you're average, you're going to need to make 165 dials. You know, if it's just bonus leads, you have to make more. These are people who have already been talked to before. So you're going to need to make a lot more. 
But if it's A leads and bonus leads, maybe it's 165, 30 contacts. So, you know, a, a dial may not be 160. A lot of people look at this and they say, well, I only have 30, 33 leads. How am I making 165 dials? Well, I may call the same person five times before they answer the phone. I may call them 10 times before they answer the phone over the course of, you know, two or three days. So this is how many times are you going to actually hit send on your 33 leads. So out of 33 leads, you should have 30 of them pick up the phone eventually if you call them enough. Um, you're going to need to set an average of 12 appointments per week, nine sits, six of them you'll need to write applications on for a total of 59.52 in APV. You're going to need to get 4,200 of that issued, 4,166 issued. So once you create this, you're going to want to fill this out and hit send. We're going to email this to you so you have a copy of it. It's also going to get sent to your mentor so they understand, number one, what are your goals? Because how can we coach you if we don't understand what you're trying to get out of symmetry, what, what your goals are? This will help us to know how to coach you. Um, and number two, this will also allow the manager to create your goals. So we've got a tool, which we're going to talk about later in the, uh, later in the steps. We've got a tool for you to set up your goal, create your goal, and then track your goal and your activity to see, am I on track to hitting my goal? You know, it doesn't do any good for you to set a goal and then you don't even know if you're on track to hitting it or not. So it's a, it's a weekly activity. Uh, we call an activity tracker where you can log in and you just put how many leads did I get this week? How many points did I set? Um, how many did I sit on? How, much, how many apps did I take? And it'll allow you to track your activity week by week, month by month, quarter by quarter, so that you're reaching that annual goal. And if, if you need to adjust goals, that's okay. You know, if you maybe you start off with 10,000, you say, you know what? I'm still learning. Um, I'm not as good at this as I thought I would be. Maybe I need to start off with 6,000 a month. And as you get better, you can increase it to 10,000 or 12,000 or 15,000. So that can be adjusted, but we have to have a starting point. So this is a really, really useful tool um, to help make sure that you're getting out of symmetry what you want to get out of it. Um, and we obviously intentionally put that right before how to order your leads because this will tell you how many leads you'll need to get. And you'll, you can watch a video on how to order them, uh, how to print them. Sometimes you'd think that that'd be self-explanatory, but it's not some of the tools aren't as user friendly. Hopefully we're working on that as a company to make them a little bit more user friendly, but um, watch the video and it'll save you some uh, frustration on how to do some of this stuff. And then calling your leads. This talks about, it gives you access to the phone scripts. Here's a mortgage protection scripts. Here's your client qualification forms. You'll need these when you're making your dials. And these are something, these are some, some a webinar that some of our top agents in the company that um, some of the top phone trainers in the company put together on how to, how to call your mindset as you're calling your posture, the tonality in your voice, the script that you're going to use, how to actually set the appointment, close the appointment, tie down the appointment so that you're not setting appointments that they're not showing up for. Um, so Hopefully you're starting to realize as I'm going through this, that this, this is a really good training to not just go through once, but to reference over and over and over, uh, because you're going to get things the first time and you might get overwhelmed the first time and say, this is a lot of information. It's a lot to learn, understand that our top agents didn't, they're, they're not the top agents because they spent all their time going through all this and not actually taking action. You don't want to have the paralysis by over analysis. You want to go through this, understand you're not going to learn it all the first time through, but go ahead and get your leads, start making your dials, and then you can come back to this, listen to it again and say, oh, I forgot. I'm not really saying that, or I'm saying it this way. I need to change the, my tone or whatever. Um, and then you can just do it over and over as you're taking that. Actually, we always have a saying, we, you want to earn while you learn not just learn and go broke. So <clears throat> then we've got a, a few other uh, phone training audios that we've done. Um, some of the top people, Colby Setzer, he's our number one agent this year. 
in our whole entire agency and actually top, uh, I think four or five in the entire company. And he talks about his posture, what he does on the phone, some of the little tricks and tips that he does. that will really, uh, cut out some of your learning curve, uh, how to cover objections. So here's some common objections and things you can say some rebuttals. Um, and then a calling schedule. So I don't, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time going through all these, but hopefully you're kind of getting the idea that this is going to be some really valuable uh, information that uh, we'll, we'll go through. Um, hopefully answer some questions so that you're not feeling like you have to get a hold of your manager, get a hold of your recruiter, get a hold of your upline to answer every single question. We have taken five years. You know, Brad and I and some of the other managers have been here for almost five years now. And none of this information was here when we got started. So it, you can imagine that, that there's a lot of information and it gets frustrating when you're relying on having to call somebody over and over and over and over and over to get the answers to those questions. So this is designed so that you can go through it at your pace. And also you're not relying on another person to teach you everything. So if you're wanting to become the best football player out there, you're not having to learn how to play football from your recruiter or from your manager. This is going to teach you how to play football. What your mentor and your manager is going to be good for is which play do I run? So when you're getting ready to go into a home and you've already called your appointments, you've already scheduled your appointments, you've already figured out what health issues they have, they're going to be great to let you know, okay, with this particular client, what play do I run? What, what uh, product is going to be the best? Now, we do have the virtual mentor that is going to go over um, which products are going to be the best products. So I'll even uh, click on this because I think this is where we do it. Yeah, the virtual mentor. This will show you a video on how to, how to do this, but you can put in the health information of your client and it'll tell you exactly what products they qualify for. Now, just because they qualify for a product doesn't mean it's going to be the best product to write because every situation is a little bit different. So you're going to want to go through the virtual mentor, have an understanding on what they qualify for. But then when you consult with your mentor, they will help you determine which of those products is going to be the best fit for that situation. Okay. So this is going to tell you like, what order do I do that in? Do I call my mentor first? Do I do a risk assessment? Do I do the virtual mentor first? This is going to go through exactly what um, the best processes are, how to run quotes, how to get applications, all these things are going to be covered in the five steps or the 10 steps, depending on your manager and, their, and kind of their preference on how, how, how they want to go through this. But I think um, most of the ones are going to be switching over to the, the five step course. Um, again, I want to make sure I bring on Brad, um, my brother, Brad, uh, we're business partners in symmetry also. So we've been here working, uh, you know, as a, a team since the beginning so I want to make sure Brad is on the, the webinar also. Uh, Brad, can, can you hear me okay? I'm here, yeah. And I'm, I'm glad you brought this specific topic with the 10 steps and the audios and coming back to it, using it as a resource. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because this is really a key factor to our very top producers. You saw Jack Gerald, number one for the week. Um, you're going to see guys like Aaron Holub. People are asking how – how does he write so much business? And right now he's starting to get himself out of the field because he's got such a great team going. But him and his agent are all, he's taught them to do the exact same thing that got him so much success. Uh, and that's going to these audios over and over and over. Once you go through the 10 steps, it doesn't mean you're done. This is a resource that you come back to to get better. Because when you go through the first time, there's going to be things that go over your head because you don't have any tangible experience to attach though, that information to. Once you got in the field and you make some mistakes and you, you, you start to get better, you listen to these audios. But, you know, there was a, Matt, I know that you, you talked Aaron several times uh, and, and Colby Setzer and Josh Mack and these high producers that are in his group. And, uh, you know, when you, when they teach what they do in the home, it is almost word for word what is in the audios and the videos on how to present mortgage protection how to overcome objections because what they do is they listen to it probably 50 times because if you, if this is your trade, if this is your craft, if this is your career, you need to master it. There's only a few things that we do. Like once you learn this business, it's like printing money, but you have to learn how to do this business effectively 
And the only way to do it is just learning through repetition, repetition, repetition. So, you know, this, this, these 10 steps here and the other training and resources that have been put on this website is four years in the making. And it's top, top producers like Nate Offer, who was, you know, number one when he came to this business in the first year. And, um, you know, different, different top producers that have put together these trainings. So it's a resource that we have access to and our agents have access to that nobody else in the company has access to. So just use it and take advantage of it. That's great. I, I love hearing the success stories and it does seem like the common denominator is that the people that spend the most time going through this and just the repetition are the ones that are consistently at the top of the leaderboard. So go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it actually back over to you to cover leads. Uh, I know we've got a couple different types of leads, bonus leads, A leads, um, you know, what's the standing GMR and that type of thing. Let's quickly cover that and then I want to get into the four cornerstones of symmetry uh, because I know those are really fundamentals of symmetry and, and if we can follow these four steps, it's literally impossible to fail with symmetry. So let's cover leads right. and then we'll jump into the four cornerstones. Yeah, and leads is one of those things that attracts a lot of people. If you if you ask most people, what is it that you saw about on the video that you liked about symmetry? A lot of people say they like the warm lead, and it's it's a huge part of our of our business. So I want to make sure that everybody understands how it works, and uh, you know, it, it's it is one thing that's unique with our company. So a brand new lead is called an A lead, and and the way that's generated is an agent fills out a form called a GMR, Geographical Mailing Request. It's, a, it's, a, it's basically saying that I want leads every single week. And so the company is going to mail out letters to new mortgage holders or maybe it's final expense or different lead types, but they're going to mail them out specifically for you, which is great because you're going to have an, an exclusivity on those leads for a period of time. Uh, now, they do invest a lot of money to get those leads going on a, on a weekly basis. And that is a commitment. That's a, it's a six-week commitment because it takes a few weeks to turn those on. It takes up to six weeks before they start stop coming in. So we don't like to start new agents off on those leads. We don't want you to learn on those. Our goal is for you to be profitable, very profitable, right from the very beginning. And the best way to learn is on bonus leads. And the way the bonus leads are generated is let's say that you've got an, uh, a, a seasoned agent that's been here for a little while, they're on a standing lead order and they've got leads coming in every week. Well, typically they're gonna get between 10 up to 15 leads every week. They may get a combination of bonus leads and A leads, which is what we recommend. But let's say they get 12 A leads a week. Realistically, they're going to be able to set maybe nine out of the 12. There's gonna be three people that you either can't get a hold of or they're, they, they change their mind, or, you know, these are people that we're dealing with. And so three out of the 12, it's going to be tough to get them on the phone or to get an appointment set. But nine, you should. And out of the nine, you might sit with seven or eight of them. And if you're average, you're going to write probably about four. That's the company average. That's if you're brand new. Now, as you get better, those numbers will actually go up. But here's the point. Out of 12 people that got that we got the letter back from, only four out of the 12 actually got an application taken. So out of those other eight, what happens is, unfortunately, a lot of our agents are a little bit lazy. And I encourage you to get closure on every single, and we, we call it getting resolution on every single lead. Get a yes or a no. Don't worry about selling them. Just get a yes or a no. And so many people, if you can't get a hold of somebody, uh, they, they put that in the no pile. That's not a no. And I could tell you so many stories of families who are expecting a phone call. In fact, my very first lead that I ever called was a bonus lead. It was six months old. And I called and I was so nervous. My heart was racing. I, I actually forgot to breathe on the phone. And I caught myself. I'm out of breath now. And she interrupts me and says, who did you say you're with? And I said, this is, this is Brad with the Mortgage Protection Center. And I was calling about your mortgage. You filled out this letter. And she said, she said I've already lost my home. She said, three months after we filled out, nobody ever called us. And three months later, my husband died unexpectedly of a heart attack. And my house is already in foreclosure. It's too late. That was my very first experience calling leads. And I realized these aren't just leads. These are families who are asking for help. And I'm sure that the agent that originally got that lead, I'm sure they did call. But that person may not have picked up the phone. They may have been going to the grocery line and, and the phone rang. They were too busy. 
Um, you know, there's a lot of times I don't pick up a number if I don't recognize. And so it's our job to get a yes or a no, even if it takes driving out to their home when you're, when you're on other appointments and you're going near their home, just go ahead and drive by their house. And so many agents don't do that. So what happens with all these leads that don't get converted? Well, they, they, after five weeks, if an agent gets an A lead after five weeks, it becomes available for another agent to come in at $5. We call it a 5A lead. And if that agent doesn't write any applications on those, then it becomes a $4 lead. And then five weeks later, if an agent doesn't sell it, and it becomes available again for $4. That doesn't mean that an agent will necessarily buy it. It just becomes available. So you don't lose it. If, you, if you've got the A lead, you're not going to lose it, but you might have some competition uh, after that point. And so those are great leads to start off on. There's so much money in those bonus leads because there's so many people that get slipped through the cracks and you know that agent got 12 A leads this week, they're getting 12 A leads next week, they're getting 12 A leads the, the week after that. There's a lot of families that get slipped through the, the cracks. And just my experience personally, I started off on $4 leads and $5 leads for the first 60 days. In my first month, I made $9,100. My second month was over 10,000 on bonus leads. So what we want you to do is, is and you'll, you can go to the 10 steps and see how to order leads, but we want you to start with four and five dollar leads and even three dollar leads, whatever your budget is. And I would get with your mentor and find out what they recommend. Put a, put a game plan together based on your goals on what you want to achieve. And then once you're comfortable, maybe after three or four applications that you've written, then I would look at getting a standing A lead order form turned in. All right, let's move on to the four cornerstones. The first one is belief. Believe in what you're selling. Uh, if you don't believe in what we're doing here, it's going to be really hard for you to talk to somebody else about getting this coverage. You know, this is that 1% of people that actually got the letter and filled up the form, and they do want what we have, but it's your job to have that belief in what we do. There's so many stories that we could share with you of families that have their home has been saved because of this product. In fact, if you look at statistics, out of every foreclosure that happens, 52% of them would have been prevented with our product. 52% is not because of an income loss because somebody got fired or because they got laid off. 52% of every foreclosure happens because of a death or a disability or a critical illness to a, to a main breadwinner and the family is, is left without a home. So our product would have prevented that many foreclosures. So what we do matters. And the best way to show that you believe in what we do is to have a policy of your own. This is, this is, gonna, this is gonna do two things. One is when you own your own policy and you can, when you go into somebody's home and you can say, I own this product. I have it because of this and I, I, you know, I wanna make sure my family's taken care of and I have this. That goes so far with a homeowner in, 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 in showing what, how you believe in this product. The other thing that having a, a policy in yourself does, and I would probably recommend Mutual Omaha, for yourself because they're the only company I'm aware of that actually gives you an advanced commission on your own policy. So some people start off in this business very strapped, just like me. I had no money getting started. And when you get a policy in yourself, you get an advanced commission. So if you get a policy, let's say it's $200 a month, which sounds like a lot in the beginning, but that's a $2,400 a year policy, and you're getting an advanced commission on that, you're getting an advance of maybe $1,200 or so. So you can use that to fund your business. There's, there's so many agents that start off with next to nothing, and they use that $1,200 to, to get leads uh, and, and to really invest in their business and grow their business. So that's belief. Now, the other, the other uh, part of the, 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 the second part of the four cornerstones is work and counsel. We call it massive action, constant correction. Okay, and both of those parts are so important. Massive action with constant correction. What does that mean? That means uh, make a mess, as big of a mess as possible, and we're gonna help you clean it up. Uh, 250 dials is what Symmetry recommends. And that's, that's gonna be on those bonus leads. Now for me, 250 dials, that sounded like a lot of dials. It's really not that many dials. When you're sitting down with a stack of leads, maybe you've got 50, 60, 70 bonus leads that you start with, every dial that you make, you want to record it on an activity report. And that, that activity report you can find in the 10 steps under calling leads. 
and you want to put a little slash mark on every single dial. Now, what does a dial mean? If you call a lead one time, let's say they have a cell phone and they have a home phone number. When you call their cell phone number first, you want to dial it two or three times, possibly more if, you're, if, you're, if your mentor recommends it. So you dial it, and maybe somebody just doesn't recognize the number. You dial it again, and they think, huh, maybe I know this person, but they don't answer again. The third time you call, they're thinking, okay, I know this person. I better pick up the phone. We all do it. It's human nature. So call three times per number. If they don't pick up with their cell phone, move on to their home phone number. Dial, dial, dial. And that's six dials within about a minute. So you can make 250 dials within, you know, five or six hours. So you want to set aside that time for dialing. That should yield you about 12 to 15 appointments a week, which is uh, 5,000 in premium per week. So, you know, we, we call that the 2020 rule. You want to do 20, uh, 20 apps per month and do 20,000 in, in premium. Here's the bottom line. If you want to have a healthy business, a successful business, that's our job as mentors, is we want to build as many healthy businesses as possible. What does that mean? We need to have tangible numbers to, to track that. And what that, if we had to boil it down to one thing, it would be $10,000 in net placed business every month. That means if you write 10 applications for, t- for 1000 a piece APV, that, that client's paying $1,000 a year, that's 10000 in premium that got placed. If you're doing that every month, that's very simple to do. That's not hard to do. That is what it's going to take to have a successful, profitable business. Starting out, that should yield about $60,000 of income for the year. Now, some of you may say, that's double of what I'm used to making. Okay, great. Some of you say, that's a third of what I'm used to making. Okay, great. Triple the numbers then. But to the minimum, the absolute minimum net place business that you should be expecting for yourself is $10,000 in business every month. Okay. Uh, now, part of massive action constant correction is you, you've got this learning curve. This is brand new. It doesn't matter what you do when you're learning something new. It's uncomfortable. We don't know what we're doing. We're going to make mistakes. We've got a lot of audios that talk about this. And a perfect example of somebody who had just massive action and constant correction is Nate Offer. Nate Offer came into this business, and in his first seven weeks, he wrote fifty thousand dollars in premium. In his first, as in his first four weeks. In his first seven weeks, he wrote eighty-five thousand. That that yielded him almost forty thousand of deposit in his first seven weeks. It was thirty-nine thousand and some and something, just about forty thousand dollars in income. And I know a lot of people that are listening to this can't imagine in the next seven weeks, from right now, from today, having forty thousand dollars deposited. What what would that look like to you? What would that do for for you and your situation right now? And the way he did it is with just massive. He had never had an insurance background. He had never done this before, but he wasn't afraid of making mistakes. Here, here's the reality. It's not going to be a matter of time for you to learn this business. It's going to be a matter of activity. What do I mean that, by that? It will take 12 to 15 appointments before you're comfortable in the home. It, it, there's no way around it. You can spend all your time listening to audios, which we want you to spend time listening to audios, but that's not all we want you to do. We want you to take action knowing that you're going to fall down and skin up your knees. You're going to get some bruises. That is the best way to learn. And Nate Offer, he did that and, and made some mistakes, and it took him 12 to 15 appointments to really figure this out. He still made some sales. You're going to trip over sales in this business, even in the very beginning. But he took massive action. And we want you to always be talking with your mentor. The other thing that's important, there's a tool that we've developed called the Virtual Mentor. And this is something that's very unique to Symmetry that other industries don't have. We've developed it, uh, you know, within Symmetry, and this is a product recommender uh, tool. So you can actually, you know, when you're you're making your phone calls and you're going through your qualification form, getting all your health criteria, what you're going to do, we want you to do is go to the virtual mentor, and that's, again, part of the 10 steps. Uh, When you're setting your appointments, you click on the virtual mentor, and you will put in there the client's age, height, weight, the health information, if they had a heart attack in the last couple of years, if the, whatever the health information is, and you hit search. And it will give you the top three recommended products. 
Now, right below that, you can also click more and see a bunch more options. But this way, you can see what products are going to be recommended. And we want you to call the mentor before you go on those appointments and verify that whatever product you think they might, it might be the best thing for them, verify it with the mentor. That's what we're here for. Okay? And the last part of working counsel is being consistent. I can't tell you how important this is. There were people that got started at the same time Matt and I did that are still here today. And they're not anywhere close to the level of success that we've been fortunate enough to have. And it's not because, in fact, a lot of these people are much better than, than us. Um, it has nothing to do with us and our ability or anything like that. That's been special. It's just a matter of being consistent, consistent over time, consistent with purchasing leads. And that's a tough one. In the very beginning, you're strapped for money. I bought, I bought leads with money I didn't have. And then the next week, I didn't have income because I submitted some policies, but they hadn't issued yet. So then I had to buy more leads with money I didn't have. And the, the third week, uh, I, was, I was even more strapped. And I had to buy leads with, with money I didn't have. Now, most people in the beginning, a lot of people don't do that. And, and then they have inconsistent activity, inconsistent results. They say, oh, there's a bunch of people I didn't get a hold of last week. I'm going to try this week. And sure enough, they don't get a hold of them this week either. So having a new batch of leads every single week is so important. Consistent dialing, knowing what times are the best times for dialing, making those 250 dials consistently every single week, week out, week out, and sitting on appointments. So uh, Matt, I'm going to let you go over the next two, two parts of uh, the four cornerstones. Sure. Um, so the, the third cornerstone, is we've got belief, we've got work and counsel, which is massive action, constant correction. The third one is a commitment to ongoing self-improvement. Now, it's, it's interesting because a lot of people come to this business and they spend so much time working on their business and they never spend any time working on themselves. And there's a saying that I've heard, and I wish I remember the, the person that quoted, but I said, if you work on your business, you'll earn a living. But if you work on yourself, you'll make a fortune. We are a product of the, the people that we hang around, the time that we spend working on personal development. There's no possible way that you can get better in business if you're not getting better as a person. You've got to be growing as a person. And so we recommend, you know, re reading a, we've got Cemetery as a book of the month. And we recommend re reading 20 to 30 pages. Um, of 20 to 30 minutes a day. That's maybe around 10 pages a day. And it's amazing the, the, the impact that can have over, you know, a year. We've got audios, we've got, you know, videos, but we're always working on ourselves. It's like, you know, if you, if you want to go, um, I think it was Benjamin Franklin that said, you know, if I'm going to chop down trees and I've got four hours to do it, I'm going to spend one hour chopping trees, but I'm going to spend three hours sharpening my axe. And a lot of people are ch trying to chop down trees with a dull axe and can't figure out why they're not getting results. And you've got other people that are only spending an hour chopping trees and they're chopping down two, three, four times as many trees because they've got a sharp axe because they're constantly working on themselves and sharpening their skills. So we want to make a commitment to always work on ourselves, ongoing self-improvement. So be a student of agenttrain.info. Um, stay plugged into all the conference calls. We've got live events that you want to make sure you're aware of the live events and get to the next live event. Uh, we've got local events called Post Conference Blitz. We've got Spring Forward Fall Tours. We've got uh, the national conferences. We've got two national conferences a year. And it's an opportunity for you to not only go and get the best information from the best people, but it's, a, it's an opportunity to rub shoulders with the, the leadership in the company, the owners of the company, the people that are actually making it happen. And the, the little bits of information that you can pick up at these events can literally change your business. So make sure you're making an ongoing commitment to doing that. Uh, so, you know, like we talk about associate with the right people. The more time you spend with the right people, the more success you're going to have because we're an average of the five people we hang out with the most. You know, so I meet with a lot of people and they can't figure out where they're broke. And you look at all their friends and the people they surround themselves with. And they're an average of them. And they can't figure out why are they an average. So that's just human nature. If you want to increase your income, you, got, you, you might have to change some of the people you hang out with. You know, spend a little bit less time with the people that aren't 
really benefiting you in any way and start spending some time with the people that can help you grow as an individual. So we want to we want to make that commitment to ongoing uh, self improvement. And the fourth one, which I just touched on, was associate with the right people. So we're always going to be searching for uh, people that have what we want and seeking their counsel. You know, it's it's funny because I I, I think that the longer I've been in this business, the more I see that the people that have success are associating with the right people and they're taking advice from the right people. It doesn't mean you're taking advice from everybody. You know, we'll, we grew up, I know Brad, you, you and I grew up in, in a family. They cared about us obviously a lot, but we are a product of our environment and you can only teach somebody what you know. And our parents meant well, but they didn't have the lifestyle that we were looking for. You know, our teachers meant well, but they didn't have the lifestyle we were looking for. Our friends meant well, but our friends were broke. And here we are surrounded by all these people in our life that all they care about us, they mean well, but they could never teach us what we were wanting to learn because they've never done it before. And a lot of people want to give advice on things that they've never done before. And it's just not realistic. It's unrealistic for us to expect that. So if you want to buy somebody's advice, you have to be willing to buy their lifestyle. And sometimes it's hard to hear but that's the reality is if you want to buy someone's, buy someone's beliefs, buy someone's opinions, you have to also be willing to buy their lifestyle. So make sure that when we're getting counsel, that we're getting it from the people who have what we want, which is why we started off this webinar going over the leaderboards so that you know you're getting the information from the right people. So those are the four cornerstones. Belief, work and counsel, massive acts to constant correction, commitment to ongoing self-improvement, and associating with the right people. And if you can make commitments to do all that, then you, I have never seen anybody do all these things and not succeed with symmetry. I've never seen that happen to this day. Um, so Brenda, I don't know if there's anything that you want to add to that. Yeah, I want to, I want to end with this because, uh, you know, we're not the type of people that like to sugarcoat anything. This is an unbelievable opportunity. In fact, the best I've ever seen. Uh, there's more people making more money and over time with less, with less time involved than anything I've ever seen. But it doesn't come without hard work. This is not easy. And I want you to think about anything that, you're, that you are proud of in your life, anything that you've done in your life that you're proud of. Did it happen overnight? Most likely, it took time. A lot of people, when I ask that question, they say, I'm proud of my kids. I'm proud of what they've done. I'm proud of this accomplishment or that accomplishment going through college or getting this degree or that degree or this accomplishment I've done in the past with my work. Those are things that took hard work, but they were worth it. And that's what I'm going to tell you guys with symmetry is it's going to be hard work, but I don't think any of you are afraid of hard work. I think the question is, is it worth it? And the lifestyle that can be created with symmetry, not just the immediate bills that can be paid, but the lives that are changing because of this opportunity is just mind blowing to me. So I want you to, here, here's what I want you to do. I want you to get on the phone with your mentor and, and tell them what your goal is. Because so many people, 19 out of 20 people, have no goals. They have no direction. They're doing this to pay their bills. They don't know why they wake up every day and go to work. They don't know what they're trying to accomplish. They just work because everybody else works. That's just what everybody does. And, and you've got to have a destination before you become a captain of your own ship. You've got to know where you're going. And, and, and then we can put a roadmap together. So here are some of the ideas that's maybe some goals. You want to have some short-term goals, like some 90-day goals. Where do I want to be in 90 days? How much money do I have, want to have in my bank account? What bills have to get paid in the next 90 days? Um, what, what does that look like? And, and write that down and talk to your mentor about that. What about six months? What about 12 months? And then, and then let's look a little bit further down the road, maybe two years or three years or five years down the road. Where do you want to be? What do you want your life to look like? What lifestyle do you want to have? And what we're going to do is we're going to work backwards. If you say, and this is the conversation I had with Nate from the very beginning. He came into this business and he said, I need to make at least $10,000 a month. What do I need to do to do that? And so we worked backwards and we figured out that he needed to have a certain number of leads, a certain number of dials. This is very scientific. This is a numbers, a numbers business, and it's very scientific. 
And we figured it out, and it, we figured that he needed to have about two days in the field and about a day, a day of making phone calls or half a day of making phone calls. And he said, well, if that's what it's going to take for 10000 a month, I'm not part-time. I've got five or six or seven days a week that I can work. If I doubled the number of leads, doubled the number of dials, doubled all of my activity, spent four days in the field, could I make double that? And we said, yeah, of course, you can make double that. And so that's what he did. And what makes Nate so special is that he actually followed through on his commitments. There are so many people who get excited about this, and they make a commitment, and they don't follow through, and it's usually because they get their feelings hurt. Maybe there's some rejection. Now, there's not nearly the amount of rejection here as there is in other, other positions that involve sales because we're working with warm leads, but there's still going to be some rejections, and you have to know where you're going so that you can, you can overcome those obstacles. And so I want you to, to get with your mentor, talk about those goals, and they're going to work backwards and help you put an exact plan together of the activity you need to have in order to reach those goals. Okay, so hopefully this was helpful. Um, Matt, I'm going to turn it back over to you. Yeah, well, I'm going, to, I'm going to wrap up with this. You know, I remember, Brad, when you and I were first getting started just about four years ago uh, to date. And you know, we were in the worst financial position of our life. And if you guys have ever been in a bad financial situation, you know that it affects every area of your life. It affects your, your relationships with your spouse, with your kids, with your friends. Very, it was a very stressful time in our, our life where we had just had a business shut down after 10 years. We were over a quarter million dollars of debt that we were liable for. And really, at the time, no light at the end of the tunnel until we found symmetry. And we had very, very little resources to buy leads and to put anything into this. And I remember it was, it was scary. It was scary taking a little tiny bit of resources and money that we had. We'd already maxed out credit cards just trying to survive. Um, you know, we, we had, what, just over 100, less than 150 bucks in our account to buy leads not even knowing how we're going to pay the mortgage, how we're going to make our car payment, how we're even going to put gas in the car to get to these leads. Extremely stressful time. And that little voice in the back of your head that says, what if it doesn't work? What if this doesn't work? And I just take the last of my little resources and put it into this. And then I had to put that voice, I had to bury that voice because that was a voice of failure. That was, that was a voice of fear. It was not a voice of a winner. It wasn't a voice of victory. And I had to bury that voice and look towards the future. Look, look towards not, not what if it doesn't work, but what if it does. And is my family worth it? Is it worth And to me, what it really came down to, you know, when we talk about our why, why are we, why are we doing this business? Because the minute... That, you're, that the reason for quitting is bigger than your reason for staying, you're going to quit. And my, my reason for staying wasn't because I wanted to make a bunch of money. It wasn't because I wanted to have a big house or, or a big car or even to have a bunch of money in the bank account. It was because I had failed too long. I had failed too many times, and that wasn't who I felt that I was at my core. I felt like I was a winner, but I had been in the wrong vehicle. And I found a vehicle where I could win again. It was an opportunity for me to get my self-esteem back, for me to, to earn my wife's pride again for her husband, that, that I can actually provide for the family again. And I said, you know what? It doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter the rejection. It doesn't matter how many phone calls I can make, how many no's I have to hear. I am not going to quit until I win again. And... You fast forward 18 months into the business, we had completely paid off a quarter million dollars of debt. Completely paid it off. Now, during that time, was it easy? No. Brad ended up selling his house. He had to move into a 700 square foot house. He had to sell his car and buy an old beater. But now you fast forward, he's got a custom home. He brought a brand new Audi. I know he just brought a new, super nice pickup truck. He was in Arkansas and wanted a nice pickup truck. I, I, can't, I can't believe how expensive some pickup trucks are. Six figures cash in the bank. You know, we're going to Maui in two, two to three weeks 
with United Home Life, all paid for. We're home for a week. And then and I think, Brad, during that week, week you get back from Maui, you're going to on a trip with National Life, you paid for it. Down to, uh, I think it's, what, Naples, Florida. Then right after that trip, we fly out to Greece. We're going with Mutual of Omaha on a Greece cruise around the, around the Greece, Greek islands. You know, we've got the symmetry trip coming up that's in Cancun. We've got a trip that we're doing with our team down to Tucson, Arizona. We're going to a dude ranch. Uh, that's a few weeks after that. So the lifestyle is so unbelievably different. You know, we did $1.2 million of premium last month. And you can do the math. You know, if you got it between a five and a ten percent spread on the business, it's an unbelievable income. But at the same time, you're changing lives because the more people we help, the more that helps us, and the more people you help, the more that helps you. So, I would encourage you guys when you're getting started. You may be able to relate to where we got started four years ago. And it's stressful, and you don't have a lot of resources. But don't listen to the voice that says, what if it doesn't work? Listen to the voice that says, what if it does? And I'm going to commit it and make it happen. So thanks, guys. We're excited to have you on the team. We can't wait to, to see the stories that you create. You know, what's your story going to be? You're the author of your book. What story are you going to write? Because your story begins today. So welcome, guys. We're super excited for you. If you have any questions, reach out to your mentor, and have a great day.